there you go. Hey guys and gals, it's Sweet Project Cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer and simple ways. Do you remember this video? I know the title says how to weld with a battery charger. Well, that video I just shared with you, we actually charged batteries with a welder. This little welder right here, look how big it is. It's how my hand. That's how small, it is small. And we have got a lot of cord running to it just for the video, maybe about 75 feet. And it's a 110 plug in, 120 volt, 110 volt, however you wanna say it. But I'm doing this away from the shop and I'm doing it because I need to do this. And I thought it would be a perfect video to share with you why this is such a great tool, not only for revamping and making your batteries last forever by using this welder right here, or the yellow one that we have, Julio. Tell everybody where all the tools are located for this video. Not only will this welder revamp your batteries and you'll have free batteries for life, which means you just re charge the battery with high power and it brings it back to life now what i'm doing here is sharing with you how this welder dc welder can also be used for welding that's what it's for but the key thing behind it is that it is a revamper or a battery booster i guess you could say it brings life back to the battery it it uh it's high power will make that battery do what it's supposed to do by waking it back up but also it's a dual purpose because you can use it for that doing that with your batteries or actually welding with it which is the key all right so i'm going to do this outside showing you that you can just cart this little bugger with you wherever you're at on your property and you need to weld something. You don't have to take your big, huge Lincoln and try to get it out there and weld it. You don't have to w worry about, I mean, right now the wind's blowing and this is my new fire pit that I built because of Hurricane Sally. We've got a lot of wood to burn. So I figured I'd make a uh, fire pit and put some of the bricks that we had laying around here and uh, do some repurposing. So let's show you what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is clean this up. My little grate here will slide off and in order to put on some porterhouse steaks or some big fat burgers, I wanna be able to set this on top of my ring, my fire pit ring. And I know this doesn't have anything to do with cars, but I'm sharing with you how versatile these little buggers are. I can take it right out into my backyard, weld, weld whatever I wanna weld and go at it. So I'm going to weld these nuts here. I found some old shackle bolts and nuts, and I'm going to weld the two bolts on the inside here and here. So all I have to do is set this here on top. I don't have to worry about it moving back and forth and sliding off there when I try to shovel off a 12 pound burger. Okay, I'm going to use their cheap little mask that they sent. I'm gonna use everything that comes with that. These are the shackle bolts I'm going to use. They're not old, they're brand new, but I'll, I know I'll never use them. So let's get cracking. I'm going to clean it up first and get it ready for welding. We'll see how good this thing will weld. I've got a whole box of welding rod over here. And always, if you have any questions, make sure you send us a comment and we will do our best to answer them. We're actually answering comments from six, seven, eight, nine, ten months ago because of our move here to Pensacola. We got a little bit behind. And you can actually use a uh, scotch pad if you want, but we're gonna take the difficult road. That's what we do, so. I'm doing it with shorts on. Share with you how easy this really is. 
and uh, you don't have to make a big ordeal out of it. You don't have to make a big old production out of it at all. No production. Hopefully you're not getting too much wind on this. Now we're going to plug it in, 110 plug in. I'm probably only going to do one side and then I'll finish the rest up, but I just want to share with you how easy this is. You can revamp your battery so you never have to buy another battery. And uh, we have both chargers, both welders in the list, one for six volt batteries and one for the 12 volt batteries. And yes, you need one for each. Sorry about that, but you do. All right, our grounding clamp is on over here and we're going to weld right here. If you uh, don't like bright lights, might be time to close your eyes. I'm just kidding. We're going to turn it on. There, now we got it tacked just enough. Now we can go at it. There you go. All right, that's not going anywhere. But that's a nice weld right there. Look at that, beautiful. Doing it all outside. Okay, what I did was I took a stick to prop the bolt up there to hold it so I can get a tack on it. We got a tack on it now. All right, you can see that weld is beautiful here. We'll get up there close so you can see it. Nice weld there, that nut's never coming off there.